I'd like to thank and welcome everyone who is here today. Um, we have a handful of speakers who are embedded in the transit equity movement, who stand for the history of Rosa Parks and transportation as a civil rights. So we're going to have a, a short program and then we're going to ask everyone in your day-to-day -day lives as you do your work, as you visit your families, to support the issues around transit equity. So here we go. Welcome to everyone and our congratulations to the organizers of Rhode Island's first inaugural Transit Equity Day. I want to thank our speakers and a shout out to our Rip the Bus drivers who have been in particular tirelessly keeping public transportation reliable throughout these trying times of the pandemic. Yeah. Transit Equity Day honors Rosa Parks and other civil rights icons for their courage to advance race and social equity in public transportation. Today, in the shadows of her legacy, the struggle for equal treatment and equity in public transportation continues. Four years ago, on February 4th, the Labor Network for Sustainability and the Amalgamated Transit Union Riders work, Workers launched a National Day of, of Unity. They called it the Transit Equity Day. The point of the day is to mobilize and declare transit equity a civil right to be protected as a national priority. Today, this message is being lifted across the nation. Well, last Friday when it was her birthday, but we're still lifting it to this moment. People from the unions, nonprofits, government, public policy and community leaders are united in a common call to challenge the inequities embedded in the history of transportation investments. And in unison, we want to raise the voices of those who depend on public transit, whose social, economic, and political futures are dependent on a good transit system. With that, I want to introduce our next speaker. Tell us your name first. Oh, my name is Rochelle. Sorry, Rochelle my Mark. name is Rochelle Lee. I'm with the Rhode Island Transit Riders. <laughs> 